Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, and also for commenting to our channel. We really do appreciate it. I want something very different for you guys. This is the vintage power care product. The best. The best. I'm telling you, the best. So watch out guys. So we're here to talk about the new smart device the automatic change over switch and right here with me we have the director of marketing for vintage power care and please can you elaborate more on this product for us okay now we have the automatic change over device um what it does is that it switches off and on your generator at any time so for example there's a power outage so the, this device switches on your generator automatically without you going to touch your generator itself so it starts the generator itself, and once the light is restored, it changes over immediately to NEPA light and it switches off your generator automatically. Okay, but I can't see any... No, the one we have in our house, we have the one that we stretch our hand and we change go over all the time. It's very stressful. Yes, very, very this, stressful. This, is the, this is the automatic version of that one. Okay. You don't need to change, you don't need to touch it, actually. So once it's installed, it's there to work by itself. So what he, immediately there's no light, or maybe there's light, detects it. That's why it's called a smart device. Uh, it knows that, okay, there's light now, it changes over to NEPA light, and it switches off your generator. So you don't need to touch anything. You don't need to go into the power house to go and change over to be touching. You know, there could be wires lying around. It could be something could have electrocution and things like that. This one eliminates all that. So that's what it does. So where and where can we use this? This device. Yeah, for example, we have this one is the single phase 120 amps. Okay. Let's say in your house, I'm sure you stay, there's a two bedroom house. Two so bedroom. yeah, it has three aces or two aces. Okay. You can use the single phase 120 amps. So we have the bigger versions as well. We have the three phase 63 amps. That one you can use for four aces to about seven aces. Let's say you stay in a three bedroom house or a semi duplex. So you, you have the say, three phase six, six, three amps. The bigger ones, we have other ones like the three phase 125 amps mm. for duplexes. Yes. No, you have more than five aces or seven aces, the standing aces as well to handle everything. Then we have the bigger ones, like the industrial ones. So we have the ones that can be used at like uh, sewage plant houses, like um, event centers, estates, you know, all these estates that they have they, 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 they use one, one generator, yes, yes. so it coordinates the whole houses. We use this one for all that as well. And we have for, for churches as well. So there's no interruption of light. Actually, what it actually does is almost 24 hours <laughs> um, light, electricity. Because once there is no light, it changes over and ch starts your generator automatically. So you might not even know they've taken light. And once there is light, it switches off your generator. I think this is the best thing that can happen to any of for any Nigerian in this country because life is so tough. Imagine coming back from work and then there's no power so uh, there's no power and then we go on the gen, on the fuel tamp, on everything and then we now on pull it, the generator. Pull it. So when we're, we're about to turn it off, you know, people like me personally now are living upstairs. That's come downstairs, middle of the night, to put up the gen, put up everything. So I wanted to ask, does how does this does this affect the fuel tap? No, it doesn't. What, what, the one thing about the fuel tap is that we realize that because we used to use the Tiger generator, those small ones, you know, those Tiger ones, because they, they, those do overflow. Okay. So, so it's the mentality we have of those ones that yeah. we think these big ones overflow. These ones don't overflow. So immediately it switches off your generator. You don't need to go outside and start trying to switch off your fuel tap. Just leave it. When next you want to start your generator, it will start up. It will start itself. Okay. What are the advantage of we having this product in our houses, in our churches, in the hospitals, anywhere we can use this? Anywhere. Let me start from your from your home. Yeah. Let's say you are watching a very interesting program on TV, and they take light, for example, yeah. or let's say you're on generator, you are watching TV, and they take light, or they bring light. You know, you have to go outside, change over. The program has the DSTV or the program has to start from the beginning. Yes. No, you don't need to go anywhere. Continue watching your program. It will switch off the generator itself. Automatic there won't be you. any interruption on the TV or any of your devices at home. That's how good it is. That's 
So it's very, very effective. Very, very, very accommodating. Yes. Very and accommodating. The, 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 there's the red and the green button in front shows you when there is light, light and, and when the generator is on. Okay, For the big ones, it shows the voltage display. Okay. So for industrial um, houses, okay. the electricians will know it. It will write the amount of voltage going in and the amount of voltage going out. Oh. So if there's a problem, if it's not if it's not enough, you can know from looking at it, you know the amount of voltage going in and out of it. I want to understand something for myself and for my viewers as well. Okay. I want to ask if if the interaction is going to happen, for how long, what is the, the range? Is it like 30 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 minutes? Yeah, for example, it depends on what you want. Like, uh, for example, let's say the small one. Okay. Once they bring electricity, the, there's no interruption of light. Okay. It's instant, and your generator goes off. It's okay. For the bigger ones, there's a, we put a time delay there, because, you know, sometimes they bring light, and they take it immediately. Right? It yes, happens. Yes, it so there's a time delay in the bigger ones in such a way that it depends on how you want to set it. If you want five seconds, if you want 30 seconds. So if they bring light, the generator will still be working while it changes over. So after 30 seconds, it now switches off your generator. So in case it takes light again, then it will not, it changes over immediately. So nothing happens. You still have your light and your generator keeps on working. Yes. What, what kind of gen, what type of gen can we use? Okay. Yeah, for this one, it, carry, uh, it can work with the, gen, the 2.5 kVA generators. Okay. You know, the regular LPAG that you have at home. Yes. Yes. For these ones, they work with the 15 kVA generators. Yes. Then we, the bigger ones we have, they work with about the 150 kVA, the 250 kVA generators. The very big generators, we have the ones that can handle those ones too. Those ones too as well? Yes, they're as, they're as big as B. So, so if we know that it, it, the gen cannot carry the AC, what the ones that are going to... Funny yes, though. yes. You know, before you go start your generator, you have to put off some place, some okay. your ACs, this and but that. But this doesn't need that. Yeah, you have to do it. So, so we but still have to follow the draft procedure. Yes, you still have to follow the procedure. Okay. But for the automatic uh, startup, you know, because it starts the generator automatically. Mm. So you have to ensure that it can carry the ACs because you start the generator automatically. If you don't want that to happen, you have to switch off here okay. manually. Okay. So it doesn't start generator automatically. Then you switch off your devices before you, you start your generator. Okay. Yes. So like you said earlier about the switch, I want to know there's a switch here, but there's no one here. So what is the difference between the two? Okay, the, the, this one is the automatic changeover okay. auto start. Okay. Also, it does the auto off. This one is automatic changeover auto off only. So it only switches off your generator when there's light. It does not start your generator. So you have to go outside to start your generator yourself. Okay. But it changes over immediately after you start your generator. But this one, it starts the generator immediately. The, the, there's no, the, there's a power outage. It starts the generator immediately. So, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you might want to go out, travel, and you, of course, you don't want your generator starting. Yes. <laughs> of course not. So what you do is that you switch it off by yourself yeah. manually. Right. So when it's on off, you can go outside. You rest assured that your generator will start. So when you come back home, it switches back on. Mm -hmm. So once it, there's no light, it starts the generator itself. If I don't buy, if if I'm going to, if I'm going to get this, I want to know why this will take me outside. If it doesn't have the same switch as this one. That's yes. That's why I said this one is the auto so auto stop alone. Okay. So once there is there's light, it changes over and it puts off your generator. You you have to go outside to start your generator. Okay. And this one only works for devices that start from uh, the generators that start that has that has 15 kVA upwards. This one can work with generators below 15 kVA. Okay, but why does it not work with the 15 kVA? That's the, it's the That's way it's, it's the way it's built. That's the way it's built. Yes, it's the way it's built. I recommend everybody to buy this one so that you won't be going all the way to down and coming back up. So this is this is way it's way better. Yes, it's way comfortable and way easier. Okay, please. Um, what are the advantage of this of this automatic changeover? Yeah, well, w w over the regular changeover you have our own, those yes, quack one quacker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those ones. Yes. Um, the advantages are you, number one, you don't touch it. Okay. You don't have to go outside. You've talked about those ones, and also it protects against power surge. I mean, sometimes there might be high voltage. You could hear sparks sometimes in transformer, and those things go directly into your home. 
they spoil your TV set, they spoil your ACs, they spoil your yeah. washing machines, and you have to find these people that repair these things. Why are you doing all those ones? If you use this one, none of your devices in your houses or in your offices will get destroyed because it has some fast some features inside that protects against high voltage. Okay. So it has breakers inside. So instead of the high voltage to come into your home, destroy your appliances, it switches off the breaker and automatically stops the high voltage from coming in. So it works for every for this one too as well. All of them. All every other thing. Yes, all of them, all the devices. This one to be very short because me I want to I want to get one from my house. Because <laughs> I'm tired of using the because I have to climb I have to climb the stool and then off it to be honest. Though. Imagine. I want to, I don't, I'm tired, I don't want to go through that stress. So this is very, very accommodating and very recommendable. On this product now, if we're trying to if you buy the product, does, does it come with a warranty? Yes, it comes with a one year warranty. Okay. Every oh, product every product from Vintage Power Care comes yes. with a one year warranty. Okay. Vintage Power Care manufactures this thing, are made in Nigeria, and they've gone through good quality control assurance and uh, a lot of um, energy processes that shows that this thing lasts very well. So for us to give you a one year warranty, it shows that that has gone through a lot of testing. A lot of testing. Of course, we're not going to give you something that is going to end up spoiling in two years or something, no. Does this work with inverter and generator at the same time? So, so yes, it does. So if you, have, if you have inverter at home and you have generator, so that has three power source, of course it works with it. So okay. you can have, yes, so you can have three power source. That means you can have your generator, switches off your generator, changes over automatically. And also with your solar um, inverter, it works with it. The automatic change over switch is something I'm going to recommend to everybody. It's very commendable and very, very accommodating. Please don't forget to go to our website. The link is on the description below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share to family and friends. If you have any question concerning this product, please feel free to comment below and we'll respond to you shortly. Thank you very much. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys, you guys. <laughs> Obi-Wizzy, Obi-Obi-Wizzy, Obi-Wizzy, Obi-Obi-Wizzy, Obi-Wizzy, Obi-Obi-Wizzy.